Alright, this is little Dewey. In five, four, three, two. We got some news today on the Joe Sneaker Channel. Hey, come on! I'll let y'all know this is Lil D Weed. Here we are, he on the Joe Sneaker Channel with the latest and metaverse news. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Welcome everybody, here we are, I am um, DJ Lil D. We And we're going to go with the uh, Metaverse news here. Everything's kind of new and not really new new, but I'm trying to get my, there we are, there we are, my browser up, there we are. This is right here, virtual reality according to the coin to graph that Virtual reality steps up as metaverse struggles to deliver. So it's a virtual reality rises from the ashes of the metaverse and sets its trajectory toward being the next big thing in the cybersphere. Well, I want to let y'all know the metaverse is not dead. Joe Sneaker Channel is usually put out videos involving avatars that are in the metaverse. In case y'all don't know what the metaverse is, that's when you put that headset on and you be looking all crazy and everybody be looking at you on what you looking at. That's the metaverse. <laughs> Nobody heard me speak like that. But that's the way it works. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's get our next tune on. There's some stuff I want to talk about, you know? Says here, according to the Japan Metaverse Market Analysis Report, featuring Sony and some other people, that the Metaverse market size is anticipated to reach 56 billion by 2030. 56 billion with a B. Billion. Y'all need to understand this, see? Because like I said, the metaverse is not dead. People say it's dead. But people out there every day playing games, making relationships. She ain't hate the folk. You know, that's what they doing. Tell me the metaverse is dead. It ain't dead. If you watching this video, the metaverse is not dead. The metaverse is not dead. All right, so let's get to our next article right here. It says, what is it, 56 billion? That's a lot of people. The COVID-19 pandemic had a positive impact on the metaverse because it forced a lot of people in there. I see that numerous companies are collaborating to make the Japan metaverse ready and line in the society 5.0 initiative so they're pushing everybody online so if you're not online and you're not thinking about online you're gonna be online you're already online a lot of people find out they're online <laughs> so, think about that car show go up and this lady's out there racing with her car trying to find out how did Lexus Nexus find out. They're like, hey, we can snitch in your car. Because your car will do that. Your car will snitch on you. I mean, you can hook up a thing to your car called a Blue Driver. And log on your cell phone and lie real time on what your car is doing. I got one of them cars that park by themselves and all that. But I don't let it do it. No, I don't trust that technology. All right, I just don't do it. 
I don't. This is Lil D Wee. And like I said, we're talking about the metaverse. Trying to let y'all know what's going on. And uh, I don't know. I'm new at this. You knew at this. Everybody knew at this. We knew to the new new. Alright. People ask you questions like, uh, does the metaverse still exist? As long as there are people, it's going to exist. As long as there are headsets, it's going to exist. As long as there are games, it's going to exist. As long as there are bots, it's going to exist. This is a slow dry run. Let's try to. Dry, dry, dry. Love you, baby. Peace. We out. I might do a mix next time. I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. Right here on the Joe Sneaker Channel. Peace. We out.